operation. In our own great city, along with the state of California, are both proud to join in the co-financing and development of this new Asian American metal complex. A dream born in the mind of its founder, General Su Kwan. Please, I sincerely believe that this complex is only the first of many new opportunities for Vietnamese Americans living in Southern California. That is why my family and I have committed $35 million to this worthwhile project. The future is unlimited. Anything about politics, Mr. Kwan? Why not? Anything is possible. After all, this is America, isn't it? It was indeed a pleasure. Thank you very much. Thank you. Goodbye. I'm sorry to disturb you, General but another Vietnamese family's been murdered. This killing must stop. How can I help? You have to let me know what's going on with your people. They won't talk to us. I'll learn what I can. Did I know the family? Detective Van Minh Lee. I knew him in Vietnam. He's fighting for his life right now in the hospital. If there are any medical needs, anything at all, let me help. We must end this brutality together. Mr. Bennett, were there any other survivors? Two. His daughter and his ex-partner, John Steele. Five years. Nothing changes. I'm sorry about Lee and his family. Well, that's not good enough. What do you know about all this? Steele? Steele! We have to talk. It's about Lee. About an hour ago, we found Lee's house. We're talking a street value worth over a million. That's a setup and you know it. Nobody sends that kind of money just to make a cop look dirty. Well, they did this time. Steele! Where the hell are you going? I don't know. But I gotta do something. Like what? Play soldier boy? Go ahead, take on the whole Vietnamese mafia. That's right. That's what you're gonna be against. And you'll end up on a slab in a morgue. Unless I help. It's not just street gangs anymore. It's organized. Dope. Prostitution. Extortions. Executions. They're terrorizing their own people and they're good at it. Damn good. Look at you. You're a joke. 
They'll cut you into pieces and spit you out. Then I'll be stuck with two unsolved murders, an insubordinate cop and a crooked one. <laughs> you either do this my way, or I'll throw your ass in jail, and you know what happens to ex-cops in jail. Do this my way, John. And you might even end up with your old job back. That's why your life's a mess, isn't it? You stop doing what you were good at. John, leave this guy on the operating table. I'm sorry. Put a man on it. No way. He's on his own. What the hell are you doing? What I've been trying to do for the last five years. You saw him. He's almost over the edge. All he needs is a little push. You gonna put him back to work? I'm not that stupid. He isn't being recruited. He's being unleashed. <laughs> 